Hi, my name is Sebastian Klose and I'm a PhD student at the Robotics and Embedded Systems Lab of the Technische Universität München. During my internship at Willow Garage, I was working on integrating inertial measurements into visual SLAM. The usage of an inertial sensor is useful to improve the robustness of the camera tracking in difficult scenarios like featureless environments or fast movements of the camera, where the image can get too blurry and the feature detection fails. I tested the system using an RGBD SLAM algorithm developed here at Willow Garage. The algorithm is a keyframe-based SLAM approach, using corners as features for the map and as crypto matching for tracking features from frame to frame. For integrating the IMU measurements, we mounted an IMU on top of the Kinect sensor. By integrating up the IMU measures, we obtain a pose estimate from the IMU. The pose estimate is used as an initial estimate in each time step of the RGBD SLAM. This way we get a better estimate of where the camera is located than just taking the last iteration pose or using an artificial motion model. Furthermore, when the feature tracking fails, for example if the camera has moved too far away from an already known region, the pose given by the IMU can help to give an estimate of where the camera has moved by now. Usually measurements obtained by IMUs include biases in their measurements for angular rate and linear acceleration, which are changing over time. In order to be able to integrate the measurements to get to position and orientation estimates, we have to constantly compute the biases of the sensor. This is achieved by a tight coupling between the IMU and the VSLAM system. The IMU sensor state is modeled using a Kalman filter, where the biases are part of the state. During the prediction step of the filter, the inertial measurements are propagated at the rate of the IMU. This propagated state information is used as an initial camera pose estimate in the VSLAM system for frame-to-frame -frame pose estimation. Image features are matched against reprojected matte features according to the IMU pose estimate. From these correspondences, a new camera pose is computed, which is in turn used as an observation in the correction step of the filter for the IMU. The usage of IMU measurements in the current VSLAM system showed improved performance and therefore encourages future development and further exploitation of that information. Future work also goes into the direction of integrating the IMU estimate directly into the bundle adjustment process. Furthermore, when I'm back at Munich, I will try to integrate the system with my quadrotor project. For more information about my project, see my package at ross.org.